Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated on my latest videos. Today viewers, we are going to discuss or tackle different topics. Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. Good day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about composing and decomposing numbers. Remember class, my dear students, being familiar with place value allow us to break a number down or put a number together to given various or place values of the number. These two phenomena are called decomposing and composing respectively. But we have a question is, what does composing mean in math, teacher Ram? Composing class when a number is made up of putting together and their existing numbers. Just like the, the given equations. Another question is that what is decomposing numbers in math? Giraffe? In math class, remember when you break a number apart, it's called decomposing. Example, we have first different ways to make. So for example, when we need to make number 7, number 9, number 5, number 10, we can decompose it. But later on, so that you can understand, we are going to present to our drill about how we are going to compose number or decompose numbers. That is composing and decomposing numbers. Let's have to start, break the numbers down. Number 1 or later A, we have 9. Okay, remember class 9, to compose 9, we can compose, say for example, Okay, remember students in composing 9, so you have to think first what particular number are you going to compose to make it 9. So, I'm going to write 5. Okay, okay for lower grades, you can use also uh, popsicle sticks to count it. And they put things together in order to compose number 9. So, we have first 5. Then, to compose 9, I'm going to add 4. And this is 9. But remember class, in composing 9, it's not also 5 and 4. But we can compose another number to make it 9. But here in our given problem, we have only 9. So we're going to compose 5 and 4. But it's up to you class, we are going to compose 9 in a different ways. Because there are many ways on how to compose and how to break the numbers down. Next is, the given is 5. We can compose 5, 2 and 3, 4 and 1, 5 and 0. So I'm going to write here class 3, then 2. And that is 5. Why? When you join together 3 and 2, that means to say 5. But in your kids, say for example, you are going to give a popsicle sticks. Let them count 3 popsicle sticks plus 2 popsicle sticks in order that your child can get the number 5. That's easy. Okay? Next, numbers. We're going to compose number 10. How we are going to compose number 10? And number 10, we can compose 9 and 1, 5 and 5. Okay, 8 and 2. So there are many ways. But for me, I'm going to give for 10, we have a very common. That's 5 plus 5. So just like what I've said well ago, you can use it, you can count it through popsicle sticks. Not uh, teaching your child in counting his fingers. That's a very good way using a popsicle sticks. Let them think, let them count in order to compose your child about the given numbers. That's a very interesting, my dear students or my dear parents, in order to learn or to boost your child to impart or to learn them how to count within herself or themselves. Okay, next number we have, we're going to compose number seven. In composing number 7, we can add 6 and 1 or 5 and 2. So there are many ways. But for me, I want 4 and 3. Okay? That's 4 and 3. It will compose 7. 
Okay, Chiram can I compose different numbers, but the result is seven. Yes, you can do it. As well as you can emphasize the given number that you're going to compose. Okay, please follow, guys. Next number. Next number we have four. Okay, that's very exciting. So it's a smaller number, so it's easy for us to what we call compose number four. It's either three and one, two and two. But for me, is that I want here a very common, which is using two and two. So when you put together or you give your child two popsicle sticks, two popsicle sticks, so let them count. So the result is four. Okay? So you can compose also different ways or teaching your child in order to compose numbers or decompose numbers also from smaller numbers it's either ones tens or hundreds it's either one digit two digits or three digit numbers because our purple purpose here rather is just we are going to inculcate the minds of every students molding the minds of the other students to familiar with place values and allowing them to breaking the numbers Next, we are going to compose 8. That's exciting also. Remember, students, please watch it. 8, so very familiar. We can add 7 plus 1. That's 8. 4 and 4, that's 8. But for me, I want 7 and 1. So we can compose 8. We put together. That's how we are going to compose number 8. But remember, class, in composing of numbers, especially uh, to little kids, Okay, you can teach them through using popsicle sticks. Again, using popsicle sticks, let them count and then give them drills. Okay, my dear students, did you understand about composing of numbers? Now, we are going to proceed to decomposing of numbers. Now, in the composing numbers, I will give you here three digits. Ones, tens, hundreds. In hundreds, place value. Hundreds and tens, Okay. Okay, the composing means class. Just like we are going to compose number, we're going to give what we call how the number being result. So, for example, 25. So, the composing teacher is that just like expanded form? Yeah, you're right. Here we go. 25. We are going to compose it. 20 plus 5. And this is what we call how you are going to decompose 25 right next 24 20 plus 4 why we the study about the composing of numbers that's very easy class to answer we need to study the composing of numbers because there are certain cases also that our teachers will will give some drills about how you are going to expand the number decompose the number before getting what we call the actual sum or the actual difference the actual product or what we call the estimating product. This is very much important skills also. Next, 795. Okay, we have phrase here. Next, 240, 20 plus, okay, sorry, we have 40. I continue, plus 6. Okay, 200 plus 40 plus 6. Sorry, guys. Okay. That's 246. That's how, <laughs> excuse me for a while. That is how we are going to decompose and what we call hundreds place value. Next, 795. We're going to decompose it. 700 plus 90 plus 5. This is our answer. 795. So first of break, okay, we'll continue class. Okay, my dear students, place eyes on the board and please watch my videos. We have 989. Okay, we're going to proceed first. Okay, 989. So we're going to decompose 9 first. In 100, place value 900 plus 80 plus 9. So I am already decomposing 989. Next, 335. 300 plus 30 
plus 5. This is number 5. 6, 724. 700 plus 20 plus 4. It's easy class. Once you know already how, you are going to determine what we call the place value of each number. So it's easy to decompose. Next, 38. So we have tens. Okay, we have 30 plus 8. This is the right answer for 38. Next, 94. We have 90 plus 4. 623. 600 plus 20 plus 3. And that is our decomposing number about 623. And the last but not the last, we have 723. We have 700 plus 20 plus 3. That is how you are going to decompose 723. This is composing and decomposing of numbers. Again, class, why I teach to you about decomposing and composing of numbers in order to learn, in order you to learn about how you're going to count the numbers, how you're going to decompose and compose of numbers. It depends upon the given equations or the given numbers, whether it is ones, tens, or hundreds. What's the most important is you need to, what you call, uh, familiar with the value of place, value rather in order to break a number down or to put a number also that's composing and decomposing of numbers this is our what we called uh topic for today class okay once again so long class and thank you for listening okay god bless to us and don't forget to subscribe to ram's tutorial blog bye bye and god bless us all